Since I live outside of Boston, I was able to visit Northeastern many times and fell in love with the school. Though I was initially confused by my acceptance through NUN, I quickly realized it was a great opportunity to experience London. Aspects of British culture and society have always been prevalent in the U.S., and I was excited to be able to live there, a place full of lots of interesting experiences. Living in London seemed like a good mix between a far away, new cultural experience, but similar enough to the U.S. that it would be easy to assimilate and understand life there. The area of London where we lived, South Kensington, is a beautiful part of the city. It's situated near Hyde Park and Kensington Gardens, where Prince William and Princess Kate live. Our dorms were similar to apartment-style living, which forced us to become independent. I cooked my meals much more often than at home and got into the habit of grocery shopping and running errands. Using the tube was also a new experience, and we all got pretty good at navigating the city on our own. Traveling around London was a huge part of how we learned during our semester, and our staff members and teachers encouraged us to explore, providing us with plenty of opportunities to do so. Just because we get around Through our British Life and Cultures class, we went on many field trips around the city, like the Tower of London, London Bridge, and several museums. These trips connected to what we were learning in class so that we could have a hands-on experience learning about London. I also got to go out and about the city for my modern and contemporary fine art class and for my music in 20th century Britain class. Through those classes, I got to visit lots of museums and art exhibitions around the city. During our semester, we got to do a lot of touring. Northeastern provided us with many opportunities to explore other parts of the UK and London on weekend trips, such as the Harry Potter Studio, Cardiff, Wales, Stonehenge, a silent disco in the top of a huge skyscraper, Brighton, the London Eye, and Buckingham Palace. Halfway through the semester, we had a week off to travel around Europe with our friends, so I traveled to Berlin and Amsterdam, which were both beautiful cities that I'm so glad I got the chance to see. Toward the end of the semester, NU and staff also planned a weekend trip for the whole group to go to Edinburgh, Scotland. People also took advantage of being in Europe by going on weekend trips throughout the semester. I got to go to Paris for a few days, which was really amazing. Though traveling around Europe was exciting, I learned the most about being in a foreign country during our time spent in England, where we were really immersed in British culture and got to witness a lot more than just the touristy stuff. Part of NUN is participating in service learning, so I volunteered at an organization that provides free art classes. I helped in a digital art class for teenagers, which really gave me the chance to get to know British culture better. In addition to observing cultural differences in our lifestyles, I also acquired a lot of useful skills from working in a class setting. Even though sometimes it was hard being in a foreign country, especially when things were happening at home, I know that being in London for the semester was the perfect way for me to start off my college experience. I've made amazing memories and great friends, and even though it may seem strange that I studied abroad my first semester of college, I know that it helped me develop as a person and prepare me for what's ahead. I'm excited to be on campus in Boston next semester, but for now, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else.